Is that because Jesus would never do Botox? What'd I say? Booty headquarters? It's beauty, not booty. It's nothing to do with booty headquarters. Huh. It sure is a lot shinier than most of the places we do this at, isn't it? God, I hope I don't blend in with my overwhelming whiteness. Anyway, hello. And welcome to another thrilling episode of Between Two Homes. I'm your host, Chris Mosier, here to bring you all the news about what's going on in the Twin Cities and my beloved South Metro. Tonight, you're in for a very special treat, as I would like to bring out business partners Nicole and Melissa, the purveyors of Booty Headquarters. Hello, ladies. That's not even remotely right. It's Beauty HQ. What'd I say? Booty Headquarters. Huh. One sec. Dude, what the hell? It's beauty, not booty. It's nothing to do with booty headquarters. Don't look at me, man. You're the one who proofs all the scripts. Yeah, but you don't, you don't understand. I spent six hours researching that website to get it wrong. Six hours? Dude, how could you not have known? Look, potato, potato, all right? Let's just do our best. I'm gonna try to polish this turd, okay? Good luck. Minor technical difficulties. Now that I know what your business is actually called. Um, full disclosure, it's gonna kinda mess up all the content that I planned, but uh, show must go on. I'll uh, definitely gonna fire my typist. Typist? Good Lord, how old are you? Uh, if you do your job right, I'm never gonna get asked that question. Touche. <laughs> anyway. In light of these new findings, let's let's be more accurate then. I'd like to take a peek at your actual website, if we could, okay? That's fantastic. I would love to talk about some of the things that we offer here. What dip, some of dip, the things dip, that dip. We... Nobody cares, that's great. Uh, what I want to know is what it is the two of you have against believers. What's the deal with that? What, what are you talking about, believers? Uh, what are you talking about? It's on your company's own Instagram page. It says right here, Atheist services. It seems a little limiting for your client base, doesn't it? Is that because Jesus would never do Botox? What on earth are you talking about? Yeah, I mean, I get it. Like, because he could just make his own frown lines rise on the third day. Uh, because it's Jesus and Easter and then something with the baby. I didn't really pay attention in class. I can tell because it's aesthetic services. You seriously cannot be this dumb. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I said the same thing. Tomato, tomato, as they say. But whatever. Nick, let's roll that promo. From the moment you come through the front door, you are immediately greeted by a sense of luxury, comfort, and companionship. This is a place where you can come to have all your beauty needs met and truly feel that your personal journey matters. With any range of beauty services ranging from Botox, filler, PRP, there is no shortage of things you can have done to look and feel your best. Say goodbye to stubborn fat and hello to a slimmer you with their revolutionary diode laser treatment. This combined with their EMS muscle toning targets seven different muscle groups. Beauty HQ is conveniently located on the east side of Lakeville, past the north side of the local high V. Owners Melissa and Nicole are not only fantastic people to know, but they are absolute professionals. Go check out Beauty HQ today. Chris, that was beautiful. Why didn't you lead with that? Um, honestly, full disclosure, ladies, I spent a lot more time on that other website than I expected. I mean, yours is great, like, there's no paywall, there's no subscription service, there's no guy named Jorge calling you, asking for a credit card. But way different content over there, let me tell you. I can't do this anymore. But, I'm out. Oh, come on. I'm out. What, what the? Seriously, you can just, see yourself out of here. Just, just being honest. Well, you have little faith, my children. And you can take your favorite what stress fall with the, you. Okay, all right, two-part question. Part one, why the hell do you have an eggplant? Two, why does it feel like human skin? 